Hello guys, today we will discuss about your argyle needle for your hemodialysis. Um, this kind of needle is different from your traditional steel needles and I believe this is available widely across other countries but it's not just being used because it's more expensive than your steel needles but it has a better outcome for your AV fistula and AV grafts, especially for the newly created um, HD access. So we have two kinds of argyle needles here. So we have the one with anti-reflux valve and the one without the reflux valve. So yeah, basically the difference with them is that for this needle, you just need a clump when you take out the sharps and this one you don't need the clump but yeah it's still same reason so this is more expensive compared to this so we have here the 15 gauge by 13 millimeter long and um the circumference of the needle is 1.9 millimeter and the effective um, length of the needle is 21 millimeter. So this is the same gauge, um, gauge 15, but it has a longer needle. So this is 38 millimeter long, and we have both the same um, size or length of the needles for both of this kind. So we have 15 gauge, 15 gauge. This is 30 millimeters, but this is 38 millimeters. So we also have available um, 15 gauge and 38 millimeters for this um, kind of needle. And at the same time, we also have um, 15 gauge and 30 millimeter long for this kind of needle. So we have three gauge. So we have, this is gauge, 17 and this is gauge 16 so these are both um 30 millimeters long and but yeah as i've said um yeah um the there's also um 38 millimeters available for all the gauge gauges of this needles and same with this needles so let's start with the needle without the entire flux valve so for this needle, it comes with this packaging, so there's no plastic packaging for this, but the sticker should be sealed, this one. So when you open this one, you just need to twist it, and then this is the cap, and then so this is the needle. So basically it looks like just like your IB cannula needles, and so this is the sharp part and when you cannulate the needle so if you're already in the vein you just need to retract this part here you see here you need to retract and then so all will be left will be this on side here so um, I will show you how it looks like when you retract the needle. So yeah, so it's automatically sealed. So to prevent sharp injury. And then so this, this is what it looks like to be like what remains in the patient's arm or in the fistula. So if you take the needle out, so the blood will usually just flow out because it doesn't have a reflux valve so that's where you need this clump so you need to clump on this side here I'll show you where here yeah so bef so as you can see when you already pull out the needle so it's you can it's a you will, you will be able to bend it like even inside the patient's vein so yeah, it's basically just like the same as your um, IV cannula. And now I will show you the needle with the anti-reflux bulb. 
so it comes with this packaging so yeah just the usual expiry date here and manufacturing date so this is what it looks like inside um so this one has the anti-reflux valve so you don't need a clamp for this you just need to take out the cup and this is what it looks like so this would be the, the, the thing that remains with the patient's arm and when you pull the the sharps so um, it goes like this and this is the lock so when you take it off yeah so this is only the part which will be in the patient's arm so this is the difference between the two so this one is the one without oh this is the one with the reflux anti-reflux bulb and this one is without the anti-reflux bulb so you need a clump for this so that your blood won't spill out from here so yeah so and now um, i'm gonna show you how to needle and the manufacturer's um, recommendation on how to take the needles and now i'm gonna show you how to use this needle during cannulation um, so i'll go straight on the needle process i mean cannulation process so i know that we have different ways of disinfecting and cannulation process so some of the units um, use sterile gloves and uh, so they use non-touch technique um, and some units as well just use the clean gloves so it's really up to the unit guys of what, what's your protocol so I'm just gonna show you how to use this for um, cannulation so you still need to apply tourniquet and so just open the packaging and take out the cup so this will be your needle so still bevel up you can rotate this one actually you can rotate this one so you will see your bevel will be also rotating yeah so just find your bevel so it should be bevel up yeah so find your vein so the good thing for this is that when you hit the vein so there would be a flashback of blood here so that time you know that you're already inside the vein so you just might need to advance maybe a quarter or half an inch and then you can slowly pull out the needle the sharps and then advance the plastic one so in that way you won't be able to um, get through and through to the vein and yeah you won't be able to infiltrate the vein so um, this is gonna feel your vein yeah so needle in so when you feel your you're already in the vein and you see a flashback here blood so sorry I'm just gonna move this one up yeah just advance about half or quarter an inch then pull back the sharp at the same time move forward your plastic one so yeah then pull this one out too so um yeah so you don't really need to push this plastic needle all the way in um, most some of the patients will like like they prefer to be they prefer to have the needle out a bit so it's their preference but if you can push it all the way in it's better so you can have a good secure so that's it and you'll do the taping after 
so your needle is in so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to tape it um, according to manufacturers um, advice on how to tape it so we still use three tapes and you can use any tape like you can use the micro pore the dura pore or the hyperfix so this is the recommendation underneath first and do the crisscross yep tape it yeah, you can have the longer one if you need if you want to so one on top and another one down here so that's how it would look like so this one it's yeah you can you can press you can bend this one because it's the, the plus it's what's inside the band is a plastic not like the steel one so yeah so that's the recommendation from the manufacturer's um view um but um in our unit different people have different styles different techniques so um and i've never seen any patients has had pulled out their needles because of um because of the taping so far it's it's secured yeah so um some of the nurses will do the tape first on top and then the crisscross and then one on top so it doesn't matter um yeah as long as you've secured it properly so with this type of needle the patient can actually move freely compared to the steel one um, I've seen patients having their meals using their two arms um, doing some other stuff with their both arms like um, crochet during dialysis um, using their phones um, yeah it would still sometimes it would still um, increase the pressure on your machines if they like yeah bend it like like a 40 90 degree 90 90 degrees bend or yeah if they raise it, it up higher than their um, usual position but basically it's more um, the patient has more f f um, free arm to use compared to the steel one because you're not scared of like infiltrating when they move because what's inside the vein is a plastic one not a needle one and yeah so the lumen port of this needle is just the same as your steel needle so you don't need special blood lines for this you can connect your um lurelux syringe or even the vacutainer for this so yeah so now uh, i'm gonna show you how to um, take off the needle So taking off of this needle is just the same as your um, steel needles. Um, you can use the dot first or the gauze to pressurize it. Or yeah, it's just the same as your steel ones. So basically, you just need to take your um, tape. Yeah. Um, just make sure you stabilize it because um, this needle doesn't have wings like the steel ones. So yeah, you don't want to um, accidentally pull it off. So yeah, same as your usual um, taking off of your needle. So yeah, you stick it up straight and then straight to your bin. And that's it. And now I'm going to show you how to cannulate using this argyle needle without the um, anti-reflux valve so i've been working in the dialysis unit for more than eight years and honestly there's really a difference using this needle with the steel needles so for me um the steel needles you can feel more of it like i mean like you can feel the tip of the needle 
when you hit the vein. Um, with this you can still feel it but not as much as the steel needle. But the good thing about the argyl needle is that when you already had a backflow of blood and you just advance it like a quarter and half an inch and just advance the needle, I mean the plastic needle at the same time with throwing the sharp so you don't need, you don't worry anymore that you might infiltrate the vein so okay let's do this so just twist to open and this is your needle and don't forget your pump so still bevel up find your vein then Annulate. So when you see a backflow from this one at the back, um, I'm gonna show you. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna move it. So if you see a backflow here, that means you're all, there should be a back red backflow of your blood here when you when you're in the needle. Uh, you when you're in the vein. So. What you just need to do is pull out the sharp and then advance the needle. So you don't really worry that you infiltrate the vein. So just take the sharp off, put it aside, and then there's still a cover here. So if you open this one, that's the time the blood will spill out but if you keep it close it will still be not yeah it won't the, the blood will spill out so you just need to take this one off when you connect um the blood lines or you need to do a um, blood test so this is the part where you need to clump the white one so clump it here before you connect oh sorry um yeah, so before you do that, you need to tape. So, just same as crisscross. Okay, so just make sure that you have room for your clamp here. So, tape it down. nice and firm there you go then you can clamp it here okay so this time you can take the cover off okay you might want to like remove the air first so um, you might need a syringe or you might need to control the clump um, yeah so basically we don't really use this in our unit um, we're using the um, the needle with the reflux with anti-reflux valve so I haven't used this personally to the patient so yeah um, After the reinfusion, so let's assume that you've connected your blood lines here, and then you, you need to reinfuse the patient. So same thing, you stop the machine, and then clump this one, and then you take the blood, blood lines off. Then you can cover it with um, any cover you want, so you can take off the clump. Like you can take the one, the bounce from the um, blood lines, then take off the clump, and then that's the time you disconnect or you take off the needle from the patient. So yeah, same thing. Um, needles, take the tape off gently and um, the supply pressure where the needle is. Yeah, that's it.